By sunrise, pal Bradshaw and his son Chad were already on the water, hauling in blue crabs as the people of Smith Island, Maryland have done for generations. I don't know nothing else, you know, and I hope I can do it until I, until I can't no more. In the middle of the Chesapeake Bay, Smith Island is reachable only by boat. At one time, more than a thousand working skipjacks sailed Chesapeake Bay. CBS has been documenting life here since 1965. Oysters and crabs were thriving, and the population was about 850. But when we returned in 1990, there were barely half as many. Its people, 450 of them, live on the water. By 1999, it was down to 350. Crabs and oysters were suffering due to pollution, and the island itself was washing away. There were five houses right in a line there. Jennings Evans was the island's unofficial historian. 14 years later, at 82, he still is. Evans says the population now is less than 200. With your own eye, you can actually see this island slowly disappearing. Yeah, and I don't like to think of it. I can see that graveyard where I'm going to be laid one of these days pretty soon, I guess, and uh, see the water coming over. Scientists at the University of Maryland say the water level is rising in part because of climate change and that the island could disappear in 20 to 50 years. Better safe than sorry, huh? For high school seniors, including Kyle Tyler, the biggest decision is whether to go. I don't want to, that's for sure. It, I dread it. I dread it 100%. But I've got to move off and try to make some money. The bay can be kind and cruel. For nearly 200 years, it provided a way of life that it now threatens to take away. Chip Reed, CBS News, Smith Island, Maryland.